I want y'all to see this. It's very exciting to me. This orange tree is loaded with new blooms. These things just started popping out. I mean, loaded. It might be hundreds. Now, in my experience with this tree, which I've had, mm, I can only guess four or five years now, this might be the most uh, blossoms that's ever come out on it, but generally more than half fall off because it always does this in the dead of winter. And while the greenhouse is heated, it's only heated enough to keep it in the 50s. And they still get cold. A lot of these blossoms will fall off but with this many because i normally don't have this many all these little white things are blossoms for new oranges with this many i have a higher chance of more uh remaining on and actually going on to become an actual orange I'm also seeing, I, d I doubt we'll be able to capture it because it's way up there, but I've got a lot of new blossoms coming out as well on my lemon tree. Now, I've got a lot of lemons. Well, I say a lot. It's a handful of lemons, young ones, that have already been on there for just a short while. But look at that. That is a tiny baby lemon right there the ones that are doing okay are a medium size let me get around here i just saw yeah uh, there's some babies right there those are new to me oh here's one let's see can i get that there we go that's a baby lemon the lighting is terrible out here because it's getting kind of late in the day. I do raise my citrus trees in large pots in my greenhouse. I use a well-draining soil that I usually make up myself with compost and I add in perlite and peat moss to create a lightweight mixture that drains well because they don't like to sit in soggy soil. I only water the soil when it's completely dry. There's many choices of soil on the market that is specific for citrus trees, which is usually a cactus type mixture. They are prone to aphids and spider mites and have to be treated accordingly with an appropriate insecticide spray. They also occasionally get a black powder mold on the leaves, but that can be rinsed off with a good burst of water from the hose. It's usually not harmful to the tree or the leaves. They like an occasional misting also during the summer months. I have listed below in the description some links from Amazon for the fertilizer choices that I use to feed my trees. In my zone 8B, they produce blooms and then fruit year-round in the greenhouse. They also do well inside the home as long as they have bright, strong sunlight and aren't allowed to dry out too much. Too much drying will cause the leaves to drop. I used to keep mine in my house, but they got too big. They can be pruned to be smaller, shorter trees and maintain them inside, but they don't like temperatures below 50 degrees. They do much better in the heat of the summer. That's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up and hit the like button. I hope you'll subscribe to my channel, and until I see you again, I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.